Hey guys, this is Tamika. Today is March 19th. I'm coming to you from my home here in Georgia. Um, guys, I was talking to a close, close friend a few days ago and, um, and you know, and we were actually talking about our past and a lot of times how we will hold on to things, but you know, I just hold on to things until things just get all heated inside and one little incident happens, it causes us to literally snap or break down. A lot of times we don't know exactly how much something from our past has, you know, compacted our life or had a big, big impact on our life. And so you get grown and something happens and it triggers that emotion and there, there it is. Everything just trickle down, right? So, um, in order for us to get past the past, and I'm one of those people, you know what I'm saying? Because with this particular person, I actually shared a lot with them, um, more than I've ever shared with anybody, including my mom or husband, my kids or whomever. It was, I never shared those details or those incidents with them. Um, but what it was is like, one day I was um, sitting here thinking, and I'm like, you know what? You can really never let go of your past until you let your past out. So a lot of people say, well, no, I can get over it. Yeah, you can get over it. I prayed about it, and I felt that I was over it, but I never took the time to discuss it. I never took the time to actually say with my mouth, yeah, this happened. Yeah, I done this. Yeah, you know, I may have whatever had this big incident to happen in my life, I never said that out loud. I always, you know, just got on my knees and I prayed about it. And I'm like, God, please take it away. You know, remove this. But at the same time, I know that I had to do something on my half. And I'm, I apologize if you can see in these little lights in my face. Um, but that has so much impact on my life. And then, you know, I was always told, <clears throat> excuse me, not by my family, but also by other people that knew me very well, um, that I once thought were my friends, you know, they actually say, you know what, well, you're not going to do this because I always had the dream of becoming a lawyer. Um, me and my very close friend at the time, uh, Latasha, we all said when we grow up, we, as long as we still go in the same school, we will go to law school together because it's going to take us a long time. <laughs> but, uh, we said that we were going to go to become lawyers. I was going to be a, um, a prosecutor and or a criminal lawyer and I don't forget what I think she was going to be a business lawyer or something but anyway we had that pet but once we got older people were telling us like y'all not gonna do this you're not gonna do that you don't have time your family don't have this and things like that and you have those dream crushers people you have to let go of your past discuss it and move on okay don't let anybody, whomever, if it's your mom, your daddy, your sister, your brother, your grandparents, if someone tells you that you cannot do anything in your life, you turn around, you prove them. You don't have to prove them wrong, but you prove yourself right on whatever it is that you're trying to do. Never let anybody else have that much impact or that much say so in your life, especially if they walk in here. The only person that should have that much effect on your life or all effect on your life is God himself. Not nobody else because the same thing, the same people that are trying to hold you back are also back. That's the reason why they're trying to hold you back, okay? And so you have to get over all your past things, get with somebody, get to a counselor, discuss it, sit down with a best friend, someone that has an open mind and discuss these things. And you'll be surprised because at the same time, the people that are going through you being that you're going through something or you've gone through something and you telling them that you've gone through all this, guess what? In return, they're going to turn around and they feel comfortable enough with you being that you share your life story. They're going to turn around and say, you know what? The same thing will happen to me. Or guess what? This right here happened to me and I never did deal with it because that's what happened when I was talking to my friend. He, she opened up about something that they never opened up about it with anybody else like I did. <clears throat> Regardless of this was like 20 odd years ago. And, you know, you just have to come into conclusion with yourself. I am so sorry about this light. That, you know, enough is enough. I'm tired of being held back. I'm tired of, like, not dreaming. I'm tired of being in the same current situation that I'm in because I'm listening to what everybody else said and not believing enough of myself to actually go out and do those things that I know that I am well capable of doing. And I have the mental mind state to doing those things. I know I have all the resources that are available 
to me to doing those things. I know I'm not scared enough to walk out. I'm not scared enough to get up in the morning and walk out of my house of being afraid of getting shot or hit by a car or hit by a bus or whatever. You're not afraid to doing those things. Step out on your faith. Get yourself together and stop living in your past and stop letting those people from your past control your current state right now. It's enough. It's enough because you will always find yourself trying to please everybody else except for yourself. And where, where is that going to lead you? In the exact same place you are in now. Sitting there with the same people that told you you cannot do something or you don't have the courage or you don't have the strength or you don't have the resource to do something. You're going to be sitting there with those same people in their misery. And now you're, you're miserable as well because you listen to them. And then when you get older... 50, 60, 70 years old, you're going to sit there and say, Lord, I sure wish I would have went ahead with my feelings and did this and went to law school and all that. Yeah, you'll feel that. But guess what? It could be too late or it cannot be too late. If I'm taking it, if you're 50, 60, 70 years old, you're probably like, no, I'm not going to go do this right now. Start living for you. Stop listening to what everybody else has to say. Stop seeking the advice. From everybody else. If you have to ask somebody. So what do you think I should do about this? Who's going to be doing it? Who's going to implement that plan that you're talking about? You are. You are. You get on your knees. You consult with God. And you wait. Wait for an answer. Because he will talk to you. I mean all my Christians know that. You, He will talk to you. You just have to be patient. Be still. And listen. Period. But you don't consult nobody else that's walking around unless they're millionaire billionaires. But at the same time, they still cannot tell you how your outcome is going to be regardless because it's all up to you. So stop asking or stop seeking advice from people that are not even doing the same thing that you're doing. It's not worth it. It's a waste of your time. It's a waste of your energy. And nine times out of ten, it's not your resource. OK, because the ending result, the ending decision, the ending decision is totally up to you. It's all about you believing in you, you getting your butt up and getting to whatever it is that you want to do. It's always, it's okay to have a plan, but you at the end of the plan, you have to have an action. Because if you don't have a, if you have a plan without the action, you're not going to get the results. If you have a plan, you have the action, you put the action in place, you're going to get the results that you're looking for. Okay. It's all about working. Okay. So uh, for now, guys, that's my time. I hope this message has helped somebody because it helped me myself. And this is something that I go through. If I didn't go through it, I wouldn't be on here telling you guys about it. Um, so I pretty much practice what I preach. Okay. So until next time, guys, have a blessed one. Peace. Again, I'm sorry about the lights. <laughs>